foundation that I bought. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. And I also bought concealer from the same range. Today I'm just gonna do a wear test for these two products and I'm really excited. I actually saw a lot of good recommendations on YouTube so today I'm just gonna try them out. And also uh, I just want to do a very casual get ready with me because um, I'm going out and so might as well do a little video for you guys. Anyway, um, I bought these two products from Beauty Bay as well and it came yesterday. It is the ABH Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo and this lipstick in Ashton. A little bit of yellow undertone which is great for Asian skin colour. Okay, so firstly I'm just going to go ahead with priming my face. I'm using this Hangover Primer by Too Faced and I'm just gonna shake this foundation up like that It's actually really watery though Okay, let's apply it on my face and see how it works I'm just gonna apply it on half of my face so we'll see the difference the texture and like consistency of this foundation is actually very watery and airy which I love. Okay, this is the first application. So for my dark eye circles, it actually covers a little bit. Let me see if it covers all up on the second application. It's alright. Uh, this side is still very dark and this one is well covered but it still has some darkness peeping through so I guess this is a very airy and very light um, foundation that maybe takes a while to build it up but I like how it is on the rest of my face since I just wanna usually for foundation I just want it to even out um, my darkness and redness on my skin this Wet n Wild foundation is a little bit on the dewier side if you can see. Okay, so I still have a little bit of darkness here. It couldn't fully cover it. So I'm using this concealer right now. And then um, redness here is peeping through a little. I have a little bit of acne scar here as well. So I'm just going to cover it up and show you guys. For this concealer, I went for the lighter shade. It's called Light Ivory. It still has a little bit of um, warm undertone. So I'm good. This also can brighten up my face. Okay, so it actually fully covered up my dark eye circles within one application. And this the consistency of concealer is actually a little bit tacky and it feels like you can build it up. And uh, also I think this one is actually very similar to the NARS concealer. So if you want a cheap dupe, I think this one is good. So I'm a little bit worried for um, the lines under my dark eye circles to appear because uh, for some heavy duty concealer, under my eyes it actually backfires and lines and lines will start to appear. And trust me, you won't like it. So right now, I'm gonna try this out. This is the ABH Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown. Okay, so starting off, I'm just gonna use the lightest brown color here. I'm gonna outline my brows. I'm just gonna go in and bronze my face back again with the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. Oh my god. This is the best. Just using these two colors, the lightest tool. I 
And oh my gosh, this lipstick color is too delightful. Oh my god, and ADH lipsticks are so freaking long lasting. Lasting. Uh, let's see how this foundation works throughout the day, and I'll just bring you guys along with me. Okay, I'm just gonna go get changed and do my hair. So, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Hello, it's been six hours since I applied my foundation. And it still looks good. I think my concealer is just not doing very well. We're gonna have dinner right now and we just watched Fantastic Beasts. Was it the first? Yeah, the first. Yeah. And then um, we're gonna watch it. Watch the sequel later on. We're gonna go mischief for dinner. So excited for burgers tonight. You? Same. Wow, I realize it's a few cut part of me. Hi guys, it's about 1 a.m. right now and this eye is so freaking itchy. I can't stop but I need to have a little update on my um foundation we actually just watched a movie so um teared a little so it has a little bit of smudge over here actually quite bad and then um for my face it's still nice and smooth and my bronzer is still on just my blushes off and then a uh, little brushes here lipsticks off and then um my face is actually not breaking down and it's actually not that oily as well so I think this foundation is really not too bad but I don't like this part other than that I think it's, it's covering okay well like it's like a mid-range drugstore foundation I don't think it's the best foundation not the worst as well and it's not breaking me out for now or not making um or not having uh rashes on me mm, i think it's just like five upon ten or six upon ten yeah so just red eh. like it's you can pass it you don't have to buy it so yeah 